So last week I had my American friend Nadia over and we had a little bit of a struggle with language. Yes, we both speak the English, but I was speaking um, Irish English and she was speaking um, American English. Do you guys call chocolate candy? Like chocolate bar? It's a, it's a biscuit, but you don't call biscuits biscuits. That's... So scones are biscuits, chocolate is candy. So this and unless you're talking about cookies, are you talking about cookies? Oh god, big crisp cookies. At least we can all agree that these are called crisp chips. Anyway, it got me thinking about other names that we have for different things in Ireland versus America. So I decided I would start with pure commercialism. Let's look at different brand names we have for the same products. I pretty much have a list ready to go of movies and TVs that are the same but with different titles on them. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. And today I'm not going to be talking about special edition products that we have in the country like the Mac More versus the Big Mac because we also have the Big Mac but the Mac More is just mmm it's very yummy. No, I'm talking about the same product that has the same packaging in Europe and America but just a different brand name. Before I get into this, do check out the list in my description of some of the lovely Patreons who have helped make this video possible. Without them, we'd be living on the street. Um, be cockney apparently. If you do see them floating around in comments, do say hello because they're all very lovely people and also they have access to my behind the scenes and stuff on my secret channel. What? A secret channel? Yes, I have a secret channel and it's not sorted or anything. She's protesting too much. It's just my thoughts and some behind the scenes things and stuff like that. No one cares about your thoughts. Just do the damn list. Okay. Coming in at number 10, it's TK Maxx. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no. It's TJ Maxx. When TJ Maxx tried to move into Europe, there was already a company called TJ Hughes, which was also a retailer. So they decided to change the name to TK Maxx. I have never heard of TJ Hughes, but there you go. Now here is the potential creepy conspiracy theory part. The stores are owned by a big brand called TJX. And after an extensive search of the internet, I could not find an answer as to what TJX stands for. Nobody seems to know what the TJX means. I think it's something to do with the Illuminati. I don't really, but I've always wanted to start an online rumor. So, you know, if you're on Reddit or you want a hashtag and start a theory, that would be cool. Up next, what do you call this? Uh, it's a can of lint. Uh, no, I think you'll find it's a can of Axe. The hell accent was that? So when Axe tried to break into the European market, they found out that there was already a product with that name. So they decided to call it Lynx in Europe. Now, they both smell the same, they both look the same, they have the same ingredients, but I think, and maybe I'm crazy, I think they have a different emotional energy. Like, Lynx feels sort of like uh, edgy, and Axe feels more sort of like lumber sexual. And actually, lumber sexuality is in fact a thing. Look it up. It's on Google. I'm completely serious. So we move on swiftly to number eight, and you might consider this one to be a cheat, but look at these two restaurants. Tell me they are not the same place. They are not the same place. They're not even the same chain. This one is Eddie Rockets, and this one is Johnny Rockets. Cute vintage uniforms. Shrek. 50s style diner. Shrek. Similar menus. Shrek. They are the same, but apparently no. They are not even the same chain of restaurants. It seems both restaurants are pretty old. Johnny Rockets opened its first restaurant in 1986. And apparently, I didn't know this, Eddie Rockets opened its first restaurant in 1989. So you'd think it would be safe to assume some European went on holiday to America, saw Johnny Rockets and thought, wow, that's a good idea. I'll bring that exact thing to Europe. But apparently no. Apparently, it's just an eerie coincidence. What I want to know is why nobody has sued for this yet. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to think like an actual American. But seriously, no lawsuit? Very strange. Moving on to number seven. Okay, this one came up when me and Harker did the epic cereal eating video. We ate eight pounds of cereal. That was not a good idea. We were violently ill afterwards. 
So as we started opening the cereals, an eerie thing began to emerge. Eerie seems a little dramatic. No, no, it's a video. It's good to be dramatic. Mm. Some of the cereals were in fact the same as the ones we had in Ireland, but, but they had different names. Cocoa Pops were called Cocoa Krispies. Frosties were called Frosted Flakes. And Start was called Jif. What? There were actually a ton of them that were the same, but with different names. I'm not being overdramatic. This blows my mind. And again, I looked to find an answer as to why the name changed, but there is no official answer out there. And so my mind immediately goes to global conspiracy theory. Does that make me a weirdo? Perhaps. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. Next, we have Doritos. Cool American Doritos. No. In Ireland, they're called Cool Ranch Doritos. Why? Okay, this one actually offends me a little because I feel like Doritos think I'm stupid and they had to rename the things. Like, I know what a cool American is referring to and I less kind of know what a ranch is. I think it's just a farm with moo moos exclusively. It's like they thought we'd be scared away from the Doritos if we knew they were American. And that's just nonsense really, cause it's just nonsense. So why'd you change your name Doritos? I'm curious. They're never gonna answer, probably not. Next up we have Lay's and Walker's. So Lay's, an American company, bought Walker's, a British company, and they decided, hey, Walker's is doing pretty well success-wise and people trust that name brand, so let's just keep calling them Walker's in the UK and Ireland. And they were like, cool, fine, because they agreed with themselves. So now they're Lay's and Walker's, and that's a really explanation easy for why they're called Lay's and Walker's. See how easy that was? Moving on. If I said to you, hey, would you like a bar of Dove? You'd have a very different reaction in the United States of America than you would in Ireland. In America, Dove is a lovely milky bar of chocolate that people eat when they want to eat chocolate. And in Ireland, Dove is a lovely milky bar of soap that people use when they want to get their skin clean. If I asked you, would you like a bar of soap? to eat you should say no and if I asked you would you like a bar of chocolate to cover yourself in you should also say no because only silly heads do that my eyes are actually burning mm. number three it's soup I mean noodle soup I mean chicken soup I mean noodle soup if you get the reference comment below bachelors and Campbell's they're both exactly the same, but one is in America and one is in Ireland. I've mixed up my hands. One is in America and one is in Ireland. So we call Campbell's Bachelors and you call Bachelors Campbell's in America. And I'd like to say I know why, but I don't. So thanks internet. Imagine I had to source all my answers from books. That would be a lot of reading. All I know is soup is good with sandwiches and you should eat more soup. Nom nom nom, go eat soup now. I have to move on to number two because number two is really mad. It's Dannon and Danone. That's a weird word, Dannon, 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 Dannon. But in America, you probably think Danone is a weird word. So the founder named the company after his son, Daniel. That's not Dannon or Danone, but they lived in Spain, perhaps Barcelona. I have no reason to think they lived in Barcelona, but it's fun to say it like this, Barcelona. Basically, we're having fun with our words in number two. Dan and 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 Try it, it's fun. Or maybe I'm just mad. I don't know where the maybe's coming from. Why is she so mean? And number one, and it's number one because it's so confuddling, okay? Try and stick with me here. And I will try and stick with me also. In Ireland, a Mars bar is an American Milky Way. And an Irish Milky Way is a Three Musketeers. And a Snickers is a Snickers. Oh. Why, 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 why would you make it so confusing for people when they go overseas? Like if I want a Mars bar in America, 
I have to order a whole different thing or I could just get a Snickers and cut out all the complications or a Snickers it's kind of just a Mars bar but with nuts in it it's all very confusing and I feel a bit disoriented this video got way more existential than I ever intended it to I'm gonna go away and contemplate the meaning of life and philosophy what is a camera Huh. I'd encourage you to engage with one another in the comments in a respectful way, even if they say potato and you say potato. But nobody says potato. That's not a thing. I don't know what anything means anymore. Are you a hamster? In America? Would they call you a hamster? I don't know. Say goodbye. Goodbye! And it's... What the hell was that? But essentially because I just hit myself in the face. Essentially! Or so am I. Are you watching me? <gasps> He's behind me! A Mars bar from here is called a Milky Way and a Milky Way from there it is, is called... Oh hang on. 